Hello everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, I do appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer comes from La Cabra Brewing Company. These guys are up in Pennsylvania. This is their, hi, I'm Cousin Leo. Well, nice to meet you, Leo. I'm Greg. Uh, this was sent to me by my brother Rico, because these beers are, are not available in this part of Virginia where I'm at. And he writes, a 6% New England style IPA. Yum, yum, yum. I usually don't buy six percenters, even if they are available here. But some of these New England style uh, versions uh, uh, have the lower ABV. We did one a couple of days ago uh, that was pretty damn tasty. Uh, so hopefully this will be just as tasty as that one was. Uh, fairly new brewery opened up, uh, and that was their same brewery. It was their uh, uh, Citrus Shatter that I thought was real tasty at a six percent and I told you guys at the end of that review that I would buy that beer if it was available here so hopefully this one is just as tasty as that one uh, so it looks like they've done uh, they're doing two six percent New England style IPAs with the citrus shatter that we've done and this one here the cousin Leo uh, the brewery is out of Bourbon Pennsylvania near Philly region four packs were a bit steep considering it's only a six percenter he says at twenty dollars at the store and it was canned on 8 20 of 18. Uh, same price the other one was that we did to set the shatter and canned on the same date. So them busy, busy beavers up there if they're canning more than one beer uh, per day. So uh, they must have a, even though they're a fairly small brewery, they got stuff going on there. If they have the means to can two different beers on the same day. So, like I said, I'm hoping this is going to be just as, just as tasty as that one was because. Uh, it is. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If it's something I, that I would buy here, and, and it's an awesome beer, uh, I'm gonna tell you that, guys. I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. It does have six percent ABV on it. It does say New England IPA under the name there, and it does have the date on the bottom of it, guys. Eight twenty eighteen. So uh, it's got the information we need to make a a decent purchase there, and uh, so uh, and I do appreciate them doing that. And it's a plain Jane silver can. It is a 16-ouncer, though, uh, with a stick-on wrap around the label. A lot of breweries have gone to that instead of printing up a bunch of fancy artwork on the cans. It's going to either get recycled or thrown away. Uh, I don't say bottles or cans, guys. I, Lord, I have mercy. Uh, 3,000 some beer reviews. If I'd save one of everything, wouldn't be able to get it in the house. So I, I don't say them, guys. Uh, that is probably all we need to talk about. I'm going to jump over here to Untapped and see if there's any additional information. We don't have the IBUs, which is basically irrelevant now, depending on how they're brewing and dry hopping and all that kind of stuff. Cousin Leo is our classic IPA, Leo on vacation in the Northeast. So, that is it. It is time. So, first beer of the day for me today, guys. So, let's get this thing opened up. Get it into the glass. Today is the 13th of September 2018. So I'm gonna pull this fairly aggressive since we don't do the food pairings and glassware. The glass I'm using is my favorite glass uh, today, guys. This is the Sauvin beer glass. My favorite tulip glass. Big, thick wall glass. Nice, heavy duty glass. And look at that. A good finger plus a head on that and it looks just like orange juice in the glass guys very impressive i really like how they do this this is probably my favorite style of beer guys it really is these new english style ipas and double ipas uh, especially if they're done right and look like this like orange juice in the glass they use it pretty damn tasty so let's get it on to the nose we go 
very citrusy guys a nice hint of pine and grapefruit and pineapple little bit of orange juice nice tropical fruit notes smells awesome guys making me drool let's dive in cheers everybody cheers Rico thank you my brother Absolutely delicious, guys. So La Cabra is doing some really tasty stuff. And even being a 6 percenter and not a larger beer, uh, like what I normally buy for myself and my go-to, the 7% and above. A lot of taste. Doesn't seem thin or watery. A lot of taste, a lot of flavor, a lot of aroma. A well-made beer, guys. really impressive to me when they can do these five five and a half six percent beers in this style that have enough body and taste that I couldn't that I can't tell I mean I would probably buy this beer too guys it's got enough taste and it's got enough flavor and aroma and enough hot presence and the appearance is awesome well let's do the back end pour I don't see how it could possibly change the color. Doesn't look like it's had uh, any settling going on as far as the hops and stuff in it. Look at that. That's an awesome looking beer, isn't it? Looks like orange juice with a nice yogurty head on top of it there, guys. So We're going to sip on this, let her taste it, and we'll come back and do that final chug and give it a grade. Right now, pretty impressive. All right, guys, I got a little bit left here. Awesome lacing is left on the glass. Very tasty beer, guys. Uh, even though it's a six percenter, uh, a lot of flavor, a lot of aroma going on in here. I do think this is an A beer, guys. I, I really do, and I would probably buy this beer if I could get it here, even though it's a six percenter, a little bit below what I normally pick up for a go-to beer. Final chug. <sighs> Very awesome aroma. It, it amazes me, like I said, that they can put that much flavor and taste in, in, in a low ABD beer. Now, 6% is not super low, but lower than I normally purchase for myself. I don't chug. We could get Lacey. Awesome. Very tasty beer, guys. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. If you say, oh my God, you're crazy. That's a 10 beer. I wouldn't argue with that. I'm going to give this a 98, guys. Pretty impressive. Very, very tasty beer. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 4.06. That's in their A minus range. I think it's a little better than that. I was impressed with it, even though it's a 6%. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.2. Uh, I consider that to be in their solid A category, too. They do have A minus to A uh, on, on those numbers there. But I was fairly impressed with it, so that's why I'm giving it what I'm giving it. Uh, the biggest accolade I could say, I would buy this beer. So it's good enough for me to purchase if it was available here, even though it doesn't come up to quite uh, to the ABV that I like. But it does have a lot of taste and flavor and very tasty. I mean, that's where I'm going to leave it. So if you've had this one from La Cabra Brewing, this is their Hi, I'm Cousin Leo. Really nice beer, especially if you like a New England style IPA. And being at six percent, you could drink a couple of these and not be too inebriated. Uh, so uh, that's why they they make these, so you can drink multiples if you so choose to. So uh, very nice, impressive beer. So if you've had it, let, let me know what you think. And if you had, pick it up if you can get your hands on it. Uh, if you like this style, I think you'll like this one too. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.